Good afternoon, Grade 11 Tourism Learners, and welcome to today's session. Um, today we're going to talk about regional tourism, SADC countries. Um, we are just going to give two more minutes just to um, make sure that everybody is locked in into the session. I see there's one or two more people who wants to join, so I will see you in two minutes' time. Hey, once again, uh, welcome grade 11 um, tourism learners. Baie welkom grad 11 tourisme leerders. En baie, da, baie welkom by vandagse sessie. So vandag gaan ons praat oor streeks tourisme en dan die SAOG lid lande. Um, so please, if you can just bear with us, this is um, once again going to be a deal session. In other words, we're going. I'm going to present this session in Afrikaans and English. Okay, so let's start. So before we go to the actual lesson, let's just go through some basics. Okay, so my name is Serena Jordan and I am the Educational Specialist for Services, Subjects and Social Sciences and then more specifically for um, tourism. Before we begin this online class, let's just go over a few basics. So please make sure that your audio is on and that your speaker volume is turned up. You will automatically be muted when joining the session. And then I am I'm sure most of you are familiar with the raise your hand icon, but if you can just quickly find it on your right hand side and just quickly show me a, a show of hands so that I can see all of you are here and part of our session. Okay, great. I see a few hands. Then um, you can download this presentation and additional resources in the handout box or on your right. You will also find this information in the question box below or on your right and please remember to send us all your questions if we don't get you a question so that we can answer it afterwards so if, if you have any questions during the session session and we don't get to it please um, uh, type it out for us in the question box then learners you are encouraged to please ask questions and leave comments but any irrelevant or inappropriate comments will result in an attendee being dismissed from this session if, you, uh, if we do not get you a question and you feel that you have something that you still want to ask us, you can send us an email to academics at impact.co.za. And then all your questions will be answered and made available after this session. Um, if you did not receive these questions and answers, please send an email to us at info at impact.co.za. Then once again, just a reminder of the U uh, Impact YouTube channel that you can go and visit to see recordings of um, not only this session um, for this afternoon, but any other subject that you might have missed, you can also go and view on the YouTube channel. It is also um, available on our Impact website, so you can also go and have a look at, um, for these recorded sessions on our website as well. So net for the Afrikaanse leaders, my name is Serena Jordan and I am the fact specialist for the fakke and social wetenskappe and then more specific for tourism. Um, net so a paar um, basiese um, quickies waar we ons net gauw kan gaan vir die online klasse vanmiddag. As jy my nie kan hoor nie, wil ek seker dat jou, um, <coughs> as kies, jou volume hard gestel is en opgestel is. Jy gaan automatisch, um, gaan jou klank afgeskakel wees as jy deelvorm van hierdie sessie. En dan, soos jylle allemaal weet, die raise your hand icoon wat dan op die rechterhand is. Um, wat jylle daarvan ach, gaan gedere in die sessie, um, laat ons net daarvan gebruik maak, laat ons net seker maak dat allemaal van jylle nog steeds reg is en weet waarvan ons praat. 
En dan asseblief, jylle kan hierdie um, aanbieding gaan aflaai in die um, handout box. Jylle sal daar so sien, daar is Afrikaanse en Engelse weergave van die aanbieding van vanmiddag. Dan um, onthou asseblief ons om jylle vraag te vraag. As jylle enige vraag het, kan jylle dit ons in die question box sit. Um, ons sal dan, as ons nie gedurende die sessie daarby uitkom, jy sal ons dan um, na die tijd dit beantwoord en aan jylle stuur. Jy is welkom aan asseblief om ons vraag en voorstelle of kommentaar te lever, maar as het on van pas is of um, nie geskik is vir die sessie nie, mag dit beteken dat ons jou van die sessie um, gaan um, af, afsit of um, afhaal. As jy enige ander vraag het wat jy, um, wat jy ook wil vraag, kan jy um, vir ons stuur na academics dat impact dat sê dat zij dat doe. En dan, um, soos ek reeds gesê, die vraag, um, kan jylle dan vir ons in die vraagbox los, ons wil het beantwoord en dan vir jylle alles stuur na die tijd. As jy dit nie ontvang het nie, stuur asjeblief vir ons een uh, e-post na info at impact.co.z toe. Dan het weer een herinnering aan ons Impact YouTube kanaal, waar jylle dan die opnames van hierdie sessies kan kry, nie net van hierdie sessies specifiek nie, maar ook van enige ander klas of enige ander sessie wat jy dalk moendlik kon gemis het. Okay, so let's start with our session today. Before we begin, I just quickly want to show you an overview of term three. So this is what the weeks will look like. For now, we're going to discuss week one of term three, um, which uh, deals with the regional tourism. In week two, we're going to look at the specific SADC countries um, and what World Heritage sites we can find in these countries. So for week two, we're going to look at Angola, Botswana, the Comores, domestic, uh, oh, sorry, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Lesotho, Madagascar, Mauritius. Week four, we're going to look at um, Mozambique, Namibia, Malawi. Week five, we're going to look at the Seychelles, Iswatini, which was um, previously known as Swaziland, and then Tanzania. And then week six, we're going to look at Zam Zambia and um, Zimbabwe. Week seven, we're going to look at the tour itinerary. Week eight, um, with regards to marketing, we're going to look at the different types of promotional or advertising techniques used in the tourism industry. Week nine, we're going to look at the marketing budget. And then week 10, we're going to look at the global distribution system and the central reservation system and the difference between the two. So for it is begin, it is gonna net gaan oorsig net kry oor kwartal drie se waar. So vir vandag kyk ons na week 1 van kwartaal 3 wat handel oor streeks toerisme. Dan vir die volgende paar weke daarna gaan ons na die spesifieke SAOG lande kyk en wat sy wereld erfenisterreine ons ook daar kan kry of daar kan um, vind. So vir week 2 gaan ons spesifiek kyk na Angola, Botswana, Comores, um, Democratische Republiek van die Congo. Week 3 gaan ons kyk na Lesotho, Madagaskar, Mauritius. Week 4 gaan ons kyk na Mozambique, Namibia, Malawi. Week 5 gaan ons kyk na die Seychelles, Eswatini, wat voorheen bekend was as Swaziland, en aan Tanzania. Week 6 gaan ons kyk na Zambia en Zimbabwe. Week 7 gaan ons kyk na die, tour, um, die tourplan. Week 8 gaan ons kyk na um, bemarking en die type um, bemarkingstechnieke wat ons kry in die toerisme industrie. Week 9 gaan ons kyk na die bemarkingsbegroting en dan week 10 gaan ons kyk na die um, globale verspreidingssysteem en die centrale um, bespreekingssysteem en dan wat die twee behals en hoe dit van mekaar verskil. Ok, so first of all, um, if we look at week 1, so we are now in week 1 for term 3's um, work. Um, this deals specifically with regional um, tourism. So let's just cover a few basic concepts um, first. So first of all, we're going to look at regional tourism. So if we speak about regional tourism, it refers to a specific area or region. So regional tourism in the Southern Africa usually refers to tourism in the SADC member countries. Okay, I'll show you a map just now. Um, just to show you in terms of a better concept or a better view um, when we talk about regional um, tourism. The second concept that we have to familiarize ourselves with, because you're gonna hear this word a lot in this term, is SADC. SADC is an acronym and it stands for the Southern African Development Community. Okay, and this is how the logo looks like. 
So if I ask you in a test, um, what does this logo or who is this logo stands for, then you know it's for SADIC and it stands for the Southern African Development Community. Okay, so SADIC is made up of a number of countries in Southern Africa that have agreed to work together to achieve development and common goals. There are 16 SADIC member countries, which includes South Africa. SADIC's head office are in Cabarone, Botswana. So Cabarone is the capital city of Botswana. And the working languages are English, French and Portuguese that they speak. Um, the SADIC member countries helps to market the southern part of Africa as the ideal holiday destination of Africa. Okay, but we will discuss SADIC in more detail just now. So as we look at the tourism, we just need to look at a few concepts. So the first one we want to look at is what is streeks tourism. So as we talk about streeks tourism, we look at a specific area or a specific area. You will now see in the following photo what I have of friends that I have going to look at as we talk about a specific streek or a specific area where we talk about streeks tourism. Streeks tourism in the Zuidelijke Afrika verwijst dan nou gewoonlik na toerisme in die SAOG lidlande. Met ander woorde, as ons praat van streeks toerisme vir Afrika, sal dit met ander woorde jou suideliker deel wees van Afrika, met dan met ander woorde sy lidlande wat daarmee saam gaan. Die volgende ene is, konsep uh, waarmee gewoond moet raak, uh, is SAOG of SADIC dan in Afrikaans. SAOG as een acroniem wat staan vir die suidelike Afrika ontwikkelingsgemeenskap. Dit is waarvoor SAOG staan, of dan SADIC, is dan die Southern African Development Community. Goed, die SAOG is uh, bestaan uit een uh, paar aantal lande in die Suider Afrika en hulle het allemaal um, ingestem om saam te werk um, in termen van ontwikkeling en gemeenskapelike doelwitte wat hulle wil bereik. Dan is het ook belangrijk om te weten dat um, door 16 landen deelvorm van de SAOG, of die SADIC, lid landen wat insluit Zuid-Afrika. Die SAOG is een hoof um, kantoren, of um, ja, de hoof kantoren is dan in Gaborun, Botswana. Gaborun is dan met andere woorden ook de webstaat van Botswana. So dit is geleen Gaborun, Botswana. En die werktool wat hulle praat is Engels, Frans en Portugees. En um, so die, die SOG lande help dan ook om die suidelike deel van Afrika te bemerk als de ideale bestemming in Afrika. Goed. So as we said, SADIC, which is an acronym, stands for the Southern African Development um, Community. Um, let's just quickly look at their vision, mission and what South Africa's contribution is to SADIC. So their vision is a shared future, future within the regional community that will ensure economic well-being, improvement of the standard of living, quality of life, freedom and social just, justice, and peace, and to, to ensure security of the people of the Southern Africa. Their vision is also to, um, to be anchored on, a, um, on common values and principles and the historic and cultural relationship that exists between the people of Southern Africa. The mission of SADIC is to pr promote sustainable and equitable um, economic growth and socioeconomic development through efficient, productive systems, deeper cooperation and integration, good governance, and durable peace and security, enabling the region to emerge as a competitive and effective player in international relations and the global economy. So remember, we want also South um, Africa and their um, um, countries to be um, at a competitive level when it comes to international tourism. South Africa's contribution um, towards SADC um, provide opportunity to work with other member states in issues such as sustainable local economic growth. Then uh, one of the main issues, um, which, is, which is also HIV AIDS, the problem of illegal immigration and refugees, as well as narcotics and arms smuggling in the region. Goed, so ons het nou gesê, um, SOEG staan vir die Suidelike Afrika ontwikkelingsgemeenskap, of dan SADIC in Engels, waar dan die Southern African Development Community, community is. As ons kyk na die visie van um, SADIC of SOEG, 
is dat die al hierdie lande strewe na een gemeenskapelike um, toekomst. Hulle streef daar na om in dan hierdie, um, um, in hierdie streek uh, baie goeie ekonomische welstand te hee, om hulle standaard van lewe te, um, te bevorder, um, ook die kwaliteit van lewe, um, dat daar vrijheid sal wees, sociale gerechtigheid, vrede en om sekuriteit te verseker vir die mense van die suidelike Afrika. Um, hierdie visie is dan ook geanker um, in gemeenskapelike waardes en um, beginsels en die historische en kulturele um, verhouding wat al dan bestaan tussen die mense van die suidelike deel van Afrika. SADC's missie of SOEG's missie is dan om volhoudbare um, ekonom ekonomische groei te, um, te behartig socio-economische ontwikkeling door um, effectieve productsysteme door te hee, om een dieper um, samenwerking met, met die mense tussen die lande te hee, om goeie um, beheer en um, a, a goeie um, toezicht dan ook daar oor te hou, wat dan sal verseker daar ook voordierende um, uh, vrede en sekuriteit sal wees, en om te verseker dat die, die streek dan ook competerend raak, vooral als het komt op internationale vlak, en dan die globale economie. Hoe werk Zuid-Afrika saam met SOEG? Werk saam, um, ook met die ander lande wat deelvorm van die SOEG, om een stabiele um, of een volhoudbare eerder plaaslike economische groei te handhaaf, um, dan ook die kwestie van HIV en AIDS aan te spreek, die probleem van um, onwettige immigratie en um, mense wat, weet, wat nou oor, ons, oor die grense gaan, en dan ook om um, onwettige smokkel met um, medicijnen en, en um, geweren enzovoort, die smokkel, smokkelarij wat daarmee gepaard gaan, om dit stop te sit, om te verseker dat daar wel dan nou vre, uh, vre, vrijheid en um, sekuriteit is in, in hierdie lande. Then we're going to look at the SADI countries and their capital cities. It's important to know um, the, the country as well as their capital city. So first of all, we're going to look at Angola and its capital city is Luanda. And there's just a picture of how the country's um, flag also looks like. Botswana, as we already discussed, its capital city is Gaborone. If we look at the Comorche, it's Moruni. Uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo is King Sasha. Lesotho, um, Lesotho's capital city is Masiru. Madagascar's capital city is Intana Rivu. Malawi is Lulongwe. Mauritius is Port Louis. Mozambique is Maputo. Namibia is Windhoek. Seychelles is Victoria. In South Africa, in South Africa we have three capital cities, which is Pretoria, Free State and Cape Town. Iswatini, previously known as Swaziland, Mbambane, Tanzania, Duduma, Zambia, Lusaka, and Zimbabwe, Harare. So it is very important to know that the SOOG lande is met the hoofdstede. So as we now look at um, Angola, so as you can see, I have the land and um, flag ook bijgezet. So Angola is Luanda, Botswana is Gaborone, Comoros is Maruni, then the Democratic Republic of Congo is Kinshasa, Lesotho is Maseru, Madagascar is Antanarivu, Malawi is Lelongwe, Mauritius Port Louis, Mozambique Maputo, Namibia so is Windhoek, Shaisal so is Victoria, then South Africa has three hoofdstede, uh, what uh, Pretoria is, Freistaat and Kaapstaat, so South Africa has three hoofdstede, Iswatini, wat voorin bekend was as Swaziland, is Mbambene, um, Tanzania, Duduma, Zimbabwe, Lusaka, and Zimbabwe is Harare. Good. So it's very important to know these countries as well as their capital cities. They do love to ask these two or um, they can either give you the capital city and you have to know uh, which country it match up with. 
Okay, so as I said, here you can see when we speak about the SADC member countries on a map, here you can see all of these countries highlighted in blue forms part of the SADC countries. So here you can understand that it's absolutely a region that we look at. This is then the, the, the southern part of Africa, of the continent of Africa, where we will find all of these SADC countries. So, as you can see, um, all the lande that in blue are clear is, is that with other words, the lande that deal form of the SOEG lit lande, and you can also see that they deal form of the southern deal of Africa. And then the blue day work a daily streak on. So, you can daily see that they all the lande form then some a streak for the SOEG lande. Okay. Then it's very important to understand what the gateways is or the access to every of these countries. And we are once again going to look at this from the viewpoint from South Africa. So how can we as a South African um, citizen or a South African tourist, what is the gateways to all of these countries? But it's also important to know when you have international tourists so that they can understand how to get to these countries. Okay, so first of all, we're going to look at Angola. If we look at air transport, um, you can get um, to Luanda, which is also their capital city, via um, their uh, airport. Um, if we look at water transport, you can get to Angola via a, a cruise ship, also once again in Luanda. You can get from South Africa to Angola via um, road transport, but you will have to cross a few other countries um, before you can actually uh, get into Angola and you will also cross a few border posts. So the gateways um, will then be from, um, from South Africa to Angola, you would go through either Namibia, Botswana, then also um, Zimbabwe and Zambia. Okay, if we look at Botswana, um, via air transport, you will get to um, Gaborone um, Muan, you can't get uh, or you can't use water transport um, to to get to Botswana as it Botswana doesn't have a, a coastline. You can get um, you can go to Botswana via road transport, and you will then go from South Africa to to Botswana. If we look at the Comoros, you can uh, reach it by via air transport. Murani, um, yeah, so you can. Um, get to the Comoros via air transport. The DRC you can get uh, via air transport in um, King Sasha, um, not through uh, water transport, but you can get through it by um, road transport. Then the countries that you would go through um, or the gateways that you can go through is Angola, Botswana, Namibia, Mozambique and Zambia. So go and study the map so that you can understand how to get from the one country from the one study country to the next, or then more specifically from South Africa to another um, country. If you look at Lesotho, um, you can reach it by air transport. Um, at the gateway there will be Masiru. It doesn't have a coastal line because it is landlocked by South Africa, uh, but you can get to Lesotho via road transport, and then the gateway there will be Lesotho. Um, if you look at Madagascar, you can get to it via air transport, uh, once again through the capital city, Antanarivo. Via cruise ship or via water transport, you can get to Port um, Dauphin Nusibi. Road transport, uh, you won't have access from South Africa to uh, Madagascar via road transport. Then if you look at Malawi, Malawi can be reached via air transport. The gateway there will be Lilungwe. Um, you can't reach it via uh, water transport, but you can get, um, you can reach Malawi from South Africa via road transport. Gateways will then be Mozambique, Zimbabwe, um, Zambia. Mauritius, Mauritius you can reach via air transport, uh, once again through the capital city, which is Port Louis. You can also reach it via a water transport or a cruise ship. Uh, once again, the, the, the gateway there will also be Port Louis. You can't reach it from South Africa with road transport, so you won't cross any borders or any countries when going to Mauritius. 
Mozambique. You can reach Mozambique via, via air transport. The gateway is Maputo. You can also reach it by uh, water transport. Gateway, once again, Maputo. You can travel via road. You will then um, cross, um, cross, cross countries with Iswatini or Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi. If we look at Nam Namibia, Namibia you can reach via air transport and the gateway there will be Windhoek. You can also reach it via um, water transport. The gateway there will be Volfus Bay. You can also um, travel from South Africa to Namibia via a road transport. The gateways then will be South Africa um, or you can go through Botswana to Namibia. If we look at Seychelles, you can reach it via air transport. The gateway there will be Victoria, um, but you can't reach it via water road or road transport. South Africa, our main gateway in terms of air transport is Awartamba International, Cape Town and Kinshaka International Airports. Um, uh, you can reach us through water transport, gateways Cape Town and Durban, and then obviously we can travel in our own country. If we look at Iswatini, the air transport will be, the gateway there will be Manzini. Can't reach it via um, a water transport, but you can travel from or within South Africa to Swaziland via road transport, and then you will travel through South Africa to get um, eventually to um, Swaziland. Swaziland or Iswatini. Then Tanzania, the gateway for air transport will be Dar al Salaam, uh, Kilimanjaro, Pemba or Zanzibar. Via water transport, um, also Dar es, Dar es Salaam. You can also reach it via a road transport. The gateways from South Africa to Tanzania will then be Botswana, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi. Then if you look at Zambia, gateway for air transport will be Lusaka, Livingstone, um, the water pools. Can't reach it via um, water transport, but you can travel by or via road transport. And the gateways then will be Angola, Botswana, Namibia, and um, Zimbabwe. Then the last country that we're going to look at is Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe via air transport, you can reach it through Harare, um, you can't reach it via water transport, but you can travel via road. And then the gateways will be South Africa, Botswana, and Mozambique. Okay. The next um, section that we're going to look at is Ritosha. So Ritosha helps us to also promote the regional tourism, um, especially for South Africa. So RITOSA is also an acronym and it stands for the Regional Tourism Organization of South Africa. And they also have a few general guidelines that they go by, have a mission and some goals. So first of all, if you look at the um, general information, um, it's the body that is responsible for promoting and marketing tourism in the region. It brings together 16 fascinating member states of the southern part of Africa to give visitors a unique opportunity to discover natural wonders of the region. For example, their scenery, the climate, traditions and cultures, which also shows us the true spirit of Africa. Organization is run by um, council composed by the national tourism authorities and councils of the national tourism private sectors, which is then also an umbrella body for the SADC member countries. And the headquarters for Retosha is in Midrand, Johannesburg in South Africa. Their mission is to ensure the tourism industry is the economic driver of the SADC through effective development and promotion of the region. So you can see um, the whole time when we speak of regional um, tourism, it's to promote and to develop and to give uh, an advantage to these SADC countries. Then their goals, as you can see here, is to increase the volume or the numbers of incoming tourists within the region, uh, in other words, in the southern part of Africa, and to create investment awareness of the tourism development in the region. 
Goedje Ritoja, um, net vir die Afrikaanse leerders is dan ook een acroniem wat staan in Engels vir die Regional Tourism Organization of South Africa, dan in, uh, in Afrikaans die streeks toerisme organisatie van Zuid-Afrika. So as jy Ritoja sien, dan weet jy, dit is, dit is waarvoor hulle staan. Hulle het ook een paar algemene richtlijne waar volgens hulle werk en missie en dan doelwitte waarna hulle streef. So as ons in die algemeen kyk, is hulle dan een lichaam wat verantwoordelik is vir die, um, vir die bemarking en die bevordering van toerisme in een streek. So hulle bring dan al hierdie 16 um, fantastische lidlande wat in die suidelike deel van Afrika um, voorkom, bring hulle dan by mekaar en hulle gee dan aan besoekers een unieke geleentheid om van die natuurlijke wonders in hierdie streek te kan sien. Soos jylle weet, um, nie net in Zuid-Afrika nie, maar vooral in die suidelike deel van Afrika is daar rarig baie mooie um, plekke want jy kan gaan, die klimaat is baie gunstig, daar is baie traditie en kultuure waaran rarig die ware gees van Afrika dan ook wees. So hierdie organisatie word dan ook saamgestel uit um, die nationale toerisme overrede en dan ook die overrede van, um, of, of, of eerder die um, die gemeenskap van die nationale toerisme, wat aan die private sektor onder die sambreel um, sit vir al die um, SOG lande. Hulle hoofdkantoor is dan in Midrand Johannesburg, wat in Zuid-Afrika voorkom. Die missie van Ritosha is dan ook om die toerisme industrie se ekonomiese drijfveer te wees vir die SOG lande, en hierdoor ook hulle dan effectief te ontwikkel en te, te bemark in die streek. So, soos julle kan sien, um, um, weet Sadiq en, en, en selfs Ritosha help rarig om hierdie streek te help ontwikkel en om te wees en om meer te gee vir hierdie lande. So dit is waar oor streeks toerisme gaan, is om rarig hierdie lande wat in die suidelike deel van Afrika voorkom, rarig um, te bemark en te bevorder, so dat ons dan ook uiteindelik internationaal kan deelneem in die globale toerisme industrie. Die doelwitte dan ook van Ritosha is om die hoeveelheid mense wat dan na, um, na hierdie plekke toe kom, of die hoeveelheid toerisme dan te verbeter binnen die streek, en dan weer eens om te, om een bekendstelling of, of om te wees wat hierdie streek kan bied, um, en dan ook die toerisme in die gebied te ontwikkel. Ok, so just before we go on, can I just quickly see a show of hands? Um, do you all understand what regional tourism is about? Or you can understand what point we are working towards? In other words, to, to show you what countries that we can get in this region. So just quickly want to see a show of hands if all of you understand what we are working towards. Ok, excellent. So um, the next aspect that we're going to look at is the, um, the benefits of regional tourism for South Africa and for the SADC member countries. So obviously, we can't have this body or this organization and it doesn't have any benefits for, for these countries. So let's look at what the benefits will be. So tourism has really got the potential to become one of the Southern Africa's largest industry and to uh, um, alleviate many economic problems of the SADC region. So as you know, um, that the Southern part of Africa is not very economically, um, you know, in front or, or uh, economic leaders. So we really, or this um, body really wants to, to make sure that there is um, economic development. And it's also to achieve the tourism potential. It's um, the SADC combines then the private and the um, public sectors in efforts to promote the region as a world-class tourism destination. So that is absolutely what they are working towards is to become world-class tourism destinations. The region's um, tourist attractions include wildlife, rich variety of wilderness areas and natural wonders of the world, their sandy beaches, mountain ranges, and rich his historical and cultural heritage spanning national borders. Even if we just look in our country, even if we just take South Africa, the wildlife that we get here, um, the natural wonders that we get here, the mountain ranges. So imagine what the potential is for all the other countries involved in the SADC, um, in the SADC region. So as ons dan nou kyk um, na Ritosha, natuurlijk moet hierdie dan nou ook voordele inhou vir die streek en dan ook vir Zuid-Afrika. 
um, en dan met al, en dan worden al die lande wat deel vorm van die SADIC, um, van die SADIC streek. So wat is dan met andere woorde die voordelen wat het inhoud om, om deel te wees van hierdie SADIC lande? Soos ons allemaal weet, het toerisme die potentie hol om rarig een van suiderlijke Afrika zijn grootste industrie te, te word en het help om die economische probleem te verlig. En hoe meer mensen jouw land besoek, met andere woorde, je zit um, geld in werking, GDP, jou BBP groei, met andere woorde, dan helpt het ook om je economische problemen aan te spreken. Dan om hier die potentie hol te bereik, vat die SADIC um, die private en die publieke sector en dan um, bemerk hulle of hulle vertoon dan hier die um, streek as rarig as een wereldklas toerisme bestemming, so dat internationale toeriste ook al hierdie lande kan besoek. Als ons net naar Zuid-Afrika kyk, maar hierdie kom dan ook in die reis van die streek voor, um, weet die, die, die wilde leven waar voorkomt, voorkom, die verscheidenheid, wildernis, areas wat ons kan zien. Ja, natuurlijke wonders wat voorkom, nie net in ons land nie, maar in baie of in, in meeste van die Sarek lande is al rarig iets besonders om te gaan kyk. Dan die strande, die, die berge, die bergreekse, net in Zuid-Afrika die hoeveelheid bergreekse waar al voorkom, die rijk geschiedenis en culturele, um, culturele erfenis wat in die lande voorkom, is rarig, is rarig wijd verspreid oor die zuidelijke deel van Afrika. En hierdie kan ons alles gebruik om te bemerk en, en as voordeel in te hou. Ok, so let's look at regional tourism in the SADC. What can regional tourism mean for these SADC countries? So um, as we have discussed um, more than once now, it is really to create an economic growth and it boosts gr a job creation. So obviously if we start to market these SADC countries as really a top or world-class destination. It means that people will come and visit these countries, which means that there's an economic growth, which means that there is jobs that needs to be fulfilled in, in order to, to uh, keep up the, this world-class destinations. The second thing is to increase the income of exported goods and attract investments in the region. Obviously, if we get people to, to invest in these countries, it will also then help with the economic um, situation. To relieve poverty, you all know that in the southern part of Africa, poverty is a great, uh, or is a, uh, yeah, it's a great issue that we have to deal with. And so this is also an effort to relieve them poverty and to stimulate economic development in the rural areas. It's also to assist with the broader economic development using tourism related in infrastructures and transport networks and to participate in campaigns to improve air transport and to allow direct flights to more destination in the SADC. So the SADC countries can then work together, together with their um, national airlines to ensure that then there's direct flights to these SADC um, countries. So met ander woorde natuurlijk, soos ons nou heel tyd gesê, daar moet voordeel wees vir hierdie streeks toerisme. So as ons kyk na streeks toerisme, wat hou dit vir die SOEG lande in? So ons het nou al meer as een keer gesê dat dit, dit, dit skep rarig economische groei, want natuurlijk as ons mense lok na hierdie lande toe, betekene daar kom geld in, daar word geld spandeer, met ander woorde die economische groei um, vind rarig plaas en dit help ook om een hoopstoot te gee aan um, bergskeping. Met ander woorde, as ons dan nou hierdie lande bemerk as hierdie um, bestemming, moet daar toch daar nou uh, werke geskep word om hierdie rolle te vervul, om dan rarig hierdie wereldklas um, bestemming te, te kan behou. Ons help ook om uh, toename in die, uh, in die um, inkomste van, van, ons goeder, van die goedere waaraan uitgestuur word aan die rest van die wereld en dan natuurlijk om dan mense te kry om te investeer in hierdie streek. Dan soos jylle weet is door rarig armoede in die suidelike deel van Afrika, so hierdie toerisme voordele help dan ook om te kyk dat ons hierdie armoede kan verminder en dan met ander woorde dan ook die economie te stabiliseer en te stimuleer in ons um, rural areas in, in, in ons um, weet in ons landelike gebiede. Dit help dan ook om te, um, te assiseer in die economische ontwikkeling um, door gebruik te maak van toerisme verwante infrastructure en dan ook van die um, vervoer netwerke waar daar is. Dan kan ons ook deelneem in veldtochte om um, luchtvervoer 
te vergemaaklik en dan ook die rette vluchten daar na die verschillende SOG lande toe te kry, met andere sê maar van Zuid-Afrika direct naar Angola toe een directe vlucht te kry, so dan ook om te help om die luchtvervoer te verbeter. If we look at more benefits, it's to work with the private sector to ensure sustainable development, open markets and develop people by giving them skills. Um, it also uses the natural and cultural resources in partnership with local communities and other stakeholders to promote the quality of life of all residents and to use a strong branding um, in terms of advertising. Um, which is already developed in the sector to advertise the regional tourism identity. So, so sorry, last of all, for the look at what Retosha or what an strict tourism and now for the uh, SOG lande, that is then um, we have to work together with the private sector to ensure that there is a sustainable development. It's not just development in the beginning, but that there is a whole time development. Is. Dus ook om oop markte te hee en om dan mense te ontwikkel dat hulle uiteindelik vaardighere aanleer wat gebruik kan word in die streek. Dan ook om natuurlijke en kulturele um, hulbronne en, en vernootskap te gebruik, saam met jou plaaslike gemeenskappe, dit is altyd belangrijk om jou plaaslike gemeenskappe ook te betrek, en dan ook ander um, mense wat daarby kan, um, daarby kan baad of wat dan geïnvesteer het, om dan die kwaliteit van die leven van die mense wat in die land bly te verbeter. Dan moet ons ook een sterk, um, weet dit, hou, dit help ook om een sterk um, handelsnaam te hee, met ander woorde advertentie wat reeds daar geskep is, waaran gebruik om hierdie sektor te, te help bemark en te help adverteer, so dat die streek toerisme rarig een identiteit dan uiteindelik kan kry. So these are um, the benefits then of, of, of regional tourism for South Africa, but also then for the rest of the SADC member countries. The other thing that they are looking at is a tourist visa specifically for, for these um, countries and specifically for this region. So Retosha in collaboration with the public sector in SADC member countries look at the, or, or looking at the possibility of, you, um, of a uni visa, a special visa that allows all tourists to travel across um, member states so that um, it also makes it easier um, if you are part of the SADC countries then to go to these specific countries um, with this visa. Um, a single visa, uni visa for SADC will make travel easier and will allow the flow of visitors to and within the region. So it will make it easier for um, tourists in these SADC countries to travel easier between these uh, or within this region. Single visa access of international and local tourists to SADC member countries can be or can have extremely positive economic benefits of these member countries because obviously if you travel then to these different countries, you will then spend money um, in these countries. And it can also once again boost job creation, positive financial impact by generating revenue of to, um, tourism industry. And then it can also help to grow the national GDP of these countries. Goed, so Retosha um, kyk ook daarna om te kyk of daar nie een uh, toeriste visa ontwikkel kan word nie. Hulle praat van die uni visa uh, of die uni visa. Um, so hulle Retosha uh, in samenwerking met um, die, public, uh, die publieke sector in um, SOG um, lidlande kyk na die uh, moendlikheid van die uni visa wat een uh, speciale visa sal wees wat toeristes dan sal toelaat om tussen hierdie um, lande dan te kan beweeg of makkelijker te kan beweeg. Um, dit sal dan ook een enkel uh, visum wees vir, um, net vir die SOG lande wat, die vir, uh, wat dan jou reise makkelijker sal maak en wat dan sal toelaat om die vloei van die um, besoekers binnen in die streek te vergemakkelijk. So die, die enkel visa um, geer dan ook um, toegang vir internationale, internationale en um, plaaslike toeriste in die SOG lande, um, wat dan kan help ook vir uh, baie positieve economische voordeel vir hierdie lande, want om daar, as jy dan naar een ander land toe gaan, moet jy dan in die land, of die waarschijnlijkheid is daar dat jy dan in die land gaan spandeer, omdat jy dan in die lande kan besoek, so dit help dan weer eens om die economie te verbeter, weer eens dit help om uh, hupse te gee vir werkskeping, 
positieve financiële impact um, wat dan geskep word as gevolg van die inkomsten van die toerisme industrie en dan ook um, sal dit help om die BBP uh, vir die nationale groei te ontwikkel. Ok, so that was just in short um, what uh, regional tourism is all about. So obviously we're going to go into the specific countries from the next um, online class. So we will then look at specifically, for example, Angola, Botswana, Comoros, uh, Democratic um, Republic of the Congo, and what their specific benefits is. So here's just a few questions, um, just to so that you can familiarize yourself with the content that we have discussed now. Here's a, a, a short question and a few longer question. Go and answer these in your own time, just to see if you understand what the work, um, what the con what the work entails, and so you can get a better understanding of of what is expected of you um, with regards to the specific topic. So you can go and answer these questions in your own time. So graag af toeriste, toerisme leders. Hierdie was nou net een kort oor wat um, die streeks toerisme is. Um, in die volgende online klasse gaan ons dan nou meer specifiek ingaan en specifieke lande dan nou gaan onderzoek. Soos bijvoorbeeld Angola, Botswana, Comoros, Democratische Republiek van die Congo. En dan gaan ons so ook weer alle SOG lande gaan om zeker te maken dat... Um, dat jullie specifiek verstaan wat hulle aandeel dan ook is um, as deel van die SOG lidlande. Hier staan net een paar vraag waardoor jullie kan gaan werk, zodat so jullie kan gaan kyk en seker maak dat jullie self vereenselwig met, um, met die vraag rondom streekstoerisme uh, en, en wat sy type vraag rol gevraag kan word. So hierdie vraag kan jullie dan op, um, by jullie self gaan beantwoord, maak seker net dat jullie dan die Afrikaanse weergave aflaai van hierdie aanbieding. Goed, if there's any questions, please remember to put it for us in the question box. I just quickly want to see if there is one or two questions that I can answer um, already. Um, please remember, um, I'm just referring you back to, uh, I see there's a question if we can watch this later. Yes, you can go onto um, either our website or onto the um, YouTube um, uh, channel, then you can just go and search for this specific um, topic and then you will find it there. Um, yes, I know in the book it says that there's only 15 SADC countries, but the Comoros um, is one of the recent countries that joined the SADC countries. So please um, take note of that. The Comoros makes up um, the 16th country. Um, it was an addition to the SADC countries, so make sure of that. Um, net vir die Afrikaanse leerders ook, um, ek weet in die handboeken word daar net verwijs na 15 lande toe, maar die Comoros was bijgevoegd met ander woorde, dit maak dan op vir die 16 lande wat dan deel vorm van die SADC. What is in a cortex? Do I see? Yes, another question. Um, that has to do with um, medical uh, or medicines um, specifically. So there is illegal uh, medicines that's also being treated and they want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So that um, and also the um, the the, um, the guns and stuff that, that, that comes into these specific countries. So they want to make sure that this is then stopped. Okay. Um, so I see this question that handle over um, narcotics. Um, that can specific over medicinal um, uh, handel wat gedraai word en um, dit is nie altyd wette gehandel wat gedraai word nie, so hulle probeer ook om dit dan stop te sit in hierdie SOG lande. Just want to see if there's any other countries. Yes, unfortunately you have to know um, all the SADC countries. Um, when we start to deal with these um, countries more specifically, um, my suggestion would then be to either put it for you in a mind map or to, to, to draw up a table so that you can understand. Um, they can ask you what is the capital city. They can ask you what attractions can be found um, that we can find in these specific um, SADC countries. So yes, unfortunately, you would have to know all the SADC countries. So, ongelukkig, jylle gaan al die SOG lande moet leer wat hulle hoofstede is, wat er, um, wat er attracties daar is, enzovoort. So jylle gaan al die, um, al die lande moet, uh, moet ken. Uh, just quickly want to see if there's any other questions. 
yes, you're going to have to know what the capital city is of each and every static um, country. That's very important. So as I said, uh, maybe do a mind map or a table or something so that you can um, learn it better or understand it better. Okay, so SADIC is not a business. Um, SADIC, um, it, it's a community. In other words, it's all the countries that is part of this um, of this body, if I can explain it like that. So they all belong to the SADIC countries and, and within that region or within that, um, or they then, that SADIC countries then, um, promote and help them, the, the countries in this specific region. Okay. Yeah, so just the last question, how many SADC countries are there? There are 16 SADC countries. Um, the latest uh, country that joined SADC is then the Comores. And remember that South Africa also forms part of the SADC countries. Okay, if there's any other questions and I didn't answer it, please send us an email or please put it for us in the question um, box and then we will have a look at it um, after the webinar. So if you're not registered with Impact, please contact us at info at impact.co.za. So if you're not registered Impact, you can contact us at info at impact.co.za. And then we will have a look at it after the webinar. So if you're not registered with Impact, please and then thank you very much for listening today. I hope that this makes a little bit more sense and that you um, understand what regional tourism is all about. So I hope that you have made your sin and that you have more understand about what your streaks tourism specifically handle. So please be careful. 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 So thank you for joining. Keep well, keep safe, keep on with the studies. Don't get behind. I will see you then in two weeks time and then we will discuss the specific um, SADC countries in more detail. So until then, um, I will see you then. Goodbye.